our suave debonair and distingue for a change, isn't it? Not check off, but you know. <laughs> you don't look any different. The interesting thing is that two of you at least were on television long before that. Now you were, and uh, you were Circus Boy, weren't you, Nick? You don't remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Circus yes, Boy was, was on in, in England, actually. Yeah. They did show that show. Yeah. Yeah. And I was uh, Ina Sharple's grandson on Coronation Street for a while there. Yeah. Yeah. How old were you then? Uh, I think I was about 12 years old. That was my first sort of. Uh, TV and then I went on to Z cars and a couple of shows like that. But, You've uh, now got your second generation of monkey fans. What, yeah. do they, what do they call themselves? Something special? Second right? generation. So monkey, yes. I don't know. It's funny. I have a 20-year-old daughter and the funniest thing, a couple of years ago when it broke in the States, she called and she said, Daddy, all my friends want to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I walked down the street singing, my, singing, Lum Tom Zed. My daughter goes, Daddy, please. I, I'm sorry, am I embar you're embarrassing me. I have a 17-year-old and a 20-year-old daughter there in California. I've got two other daughters, too, uh, in England, uh, Annabelle and, and Jessica, who are seven and six months old. But uh, my 17-year-old told me that when the show started and we started touring, that her girlfriends thought I was a major babe. So that was good. <laughs> is that good? I think it is. It was okay. It's better than corporal. <laughs> <laughs> corporal babes are not quite as good as major. Strange language. Oh, yes. I, <laughs> sorry. Thank you, friend. Now, oddly enough, you're, I suppose it's difficult for me to say this, but middle-aged men trying to recapture something you never <laughs> actually were. It's odd, isn't it? It is. It's, but I, I compare it to, like, Star Trek. <laughs> I compare it to, like, to, like Star Trek, well, uh, very similar, where L William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy come back after 20 years and make a movie, and they recreate the roles that they created before. There's nothing really unusual about that if... If um, Ron Moody came back and did uh, Fagin again uh, in, in Oliver or something like that. But you're not trying to be the same but man you were in 1960. No, absolutely not. We're not trying to be 20-year-old guys. We're recreating the roles of, of guys in a rock and roll band. And if, we, if and when we make a movie, which is what we're working on now, we'll still be three guys, uh, uh, probably in a band, still not successful because the monkeys were never successful on the television show. That was one of the, the... We were always the victims. And we will be these guys still trying to make a living uh, in, a, in a rock and roll band. It was, mu it was much put together uh, like the, the Eurovision Song Contest or something like that, where they were getting people like Buck Fizz and other acts to, to sing a certain song to represent the country, and they put people together. Well, this is a TV series about a rock and roll band, and, uh, mm. you mm. know, sort of like trying to make it. And that was basically what we understood. It's just that as we went along, Peter and Mike Nesmith, who were the musicians and who had careers in music before the Monkees, took it to heart and wanted to get involved in the songwriting, in, mm. in the recording. Mm. So there was a conflict there. Mickey and I were trying to just do this series, and we couldn't really understand in the beginning what mm. was happening with mm. Peter and Mike, who wanted mm. to write songs. Mind you, the songs were written by Carol King and Neil Diamond and Harry Nielsen Pretty and good Neil Sedaka, yeah. yeah. Carol mm. Sega. So we had a fabulous team of people working with us. The Monkees was a success in 36 countries it went to as a, a, a television show. And it was show. a failure in 35 more. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, we supposedly, um, uh, we made actually, I think, about 58 episodes. We sold 100 million. And $58. Million. <laughs> yeah. I did 